Hi everybody, it's Catherine, and today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023, and I am finally about to start day 14 of the five floor Uracil. So I wanted to give you a close up of my face. Um, there have been a few changes today. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of go through them as I just kind of point out different things on my face, but um, obviously, very, very dry feeling. Um, hot, only when I've got some sort of activity going on, but otherwise, you know, it wasn't bothersome at all. In fact, today we had a large snow that we had to plow multiple times today. And the cool air actually felt fantastic. But when I came into the house, you know, that sensation of walking out from cold into heat um, for probably about the first 10 or 15 minutes, I could feel every little polka dot on my face. So um, that calmed down as soon as I, my body temperature kind of, um, uh, you know, came back to normal. But anyhow, so um, I'm still, you know, very chapped right in here. This is um, getting to the point where it actually feels like it's going to crack and bleed, um, even with moisturizers and things like that that I'm putting on. Uh, I had another um, little tiny spot show up down in here. And then on my nose, that I don't recall yesterday. Or maybe I just wasn't looking closely enough. But that's concerning because that is how, something like that is how I ended up losing this side of my nose. I had a basal cell that had developed right on the edge of my cartilage on my nose. And again, I'll have story time at some other time um, about what happened with this, but it went untreated for years and years and years and years. And, um, resulted in me having to have that nostril removed. So that right there is just reason enough that I'm going to be continuing beyond the 14 days. That fluorouracil treatment is definitely bringing things out that I had absolutely no idea. And that that's terrifying to me. <laughs> so um, just because of that bad boy, I'm absolutely going to continue. Um, the rest of the spots I've seen, they're concerning, but not as concerning to me as that. Um, well, except maybe that. So um, that has not done a whole bunch since being treated. It's, it's not raised. It's not crusty. It's I don't know. I don't know what that is. So that might be something else to be really concerned about, but... Anyhow, as you can see, it's right in here. This is funny because this is a wrinkle right here. This is for me crinkling my nose all the time. Um, so I guess it must have some sort of cells in there. I don't know. But anyhow, my eyebrows are still red, still inflamed but they're not as painful as they were, so I'm happy about that. And then I did have a few more little dots here and there just kind of pop up. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if they popped up last night or today. Here's where I was pointing out in the morning video that I had a couple up in my hairline, so I'm glad I brought the cream up into my, my hairline. And then these right here, like that. Just light up my nose. So that is it. I am at day 14. And yes, I um, have made the decision that I'm going to try and go as far up to day 21 as I can possibly tolerate, just um, mostly because I erupted late um, and or I bloomed late um, and day, day 13 was, 
you know, 12 and 13 um, were when some of it was really starting to pop up. Uh, so for that reason alone, I just don't think my skin has had enough time to really go through the full treatment effectively. And I will most certainly do this again if my doctor tells me I need to do it again. But if I can do as much on the first time as possible, I'm going to do it. Uh, the other thing is, um, tomorrow morning I am going to take another video to show you in the daylight what my skin looks like after sleeping on it overnight um, with the cream. And then from that point on, I'm only going to do one video a day and I'm going to take that in the morning and I will take that all the way through whatever end date I have for my treatment. So day 18, 21, whatever day it may be. Um, I have a dermatologist appointment next Wednesday. I will most certainly do a follow-up video with that um, and also the healing portion of the video so that you can kind of see, um, you know, how my skin um, has reacted not only to the cream, but also how it heals from the cream. And I am a, a, a heavy makeup wearer. I love makeup. You'd never know it by looking at me. But um, so as my skin starts healing and I start going out in public and that kind of thing, I'll um, mostly have you know, some videos with some makeup and things like that on there so that um, any of you that, you know, are going through this can feel good about your return to the office or maybe a wedding or something that, you know, church that, you know, you like to make yourself up for. But I want to really thank you for following me um, through all these videos. It's been great for me. It's been very therapeutic. It's been very motivating and while scary I'm I'm very happy that I did this and I would encourage anybody to do this I really really would and I know I've said that in multiple videos but really do it it's I mean you may have a terrible terrible you know eruption right in the very beginning and that really means that you needed it or you may be like me and several other YouTubers that I've watched who are very latent in our journey with this. But the fact of the matter is, you need to do it. And I hope that this has been somewhat helpful to, to somebody out there. Um, I just appreciate your time. I really, really do. So anyhow, thank you and I'll see you tomorrow morning.